Okay, so what did happen? It turns out it was, in fact, the transfer case. Whatever came first, actually, before I even get to there, the noise that I was hearing that uh, led to the transfer case issue and also the rear drive shaft, which I'll explain, was uh, what turned to be from a very harmonic knocking, vibrating noise that you could almost hear as if it was in my passenger seat or that direction towards that wheel well and even felt it through the pedal, through the wheel, through the shifter in my seat. It was a grinding noise and this eventually just turned into just a pure grinding noise. Um, but every time I stepped only on the gas would this noise become um, more apparent, more obvious and, and it got to the point where I couldn't even go not even 30, not even 25 on the highway. And so that became a big issue. And so I gave up trying to figure out what the issue was. Although I will say I never checked my transfer case fluid. I don't know if it was empty, but it had always had moisture around it. So you could definitely tell the seals on it uh, were lacking in that. Anyway, so what ended up happening after I took it to a shop, um, they determined that the bearing for the slip yoke eliminator coming right out for the uh, rear drive shaft, uh, that bearing was dust. <laughs> it pretty much was gone and um, was moving around in there. And so it may have even damaged the housing for where that bearing would sit. Whether that came first or the joint coming for off my uh, transfer case, I think that's called the CV joint, uh, that also was broken. And none of this was apparent until enough weight was lifted off the vehicle. And when that weight was lifted, it could actually be shaken. Uh, you could shake the vehicle. And so um, that's how they knew. And so... So I've seen a lot of videos on how to do this. This will be just like that. I will just make this short and sweet. Um, I'm not going to turn my car on. I've already unplugged my battery uh, to get in prep for disconnecting the resistor. The, what I'm assuming is the bad resistor here. It works. No, maybe not. This full blown. And so these two just uh, are lacking. Uh, there's no, there's no fan at all happening there. Everything else works just fine. And so I went and got myself. Uh, let's see. What is this? Uh, do I see a part number anywhere? Maybe. Um, I don't know which one this is. But anyways, I'm going to try and install it and see if it works. Looks like this. Looks like what everyone else has been putting in. Um, it's pretty obvious which way it will go in because it has these ridges here. And so that should be pretty all straightforward. And I'll show you where that is and how to get to it. So I'm going to try to illuminate this the best I can. I'll shove this guy. Let's see, right in there. There we go and point to the resistor so if i put the camera in here it is going to be let's see here right in here so this guy so this guy you can see one of the screws there behind this wiring harness gotta get out i think it's a 10 millimeter and then same there's one on the bottom just like uh, what i showed you with the resistor some say it's uh, much easier if we remove this so i'm going to try to remove this and see if that's easier or i looks like i'll have access to it if I want to struggle. Also, then there is a light that can be removed also, that will also need to be removed most likely uh, to gain access to pull it out and then replug it in. So I'm gonna do that. Just using a flat head to try to pop this uh, clip loose. I was going to determine if I even... There it goes. So I'll, all I was doing there was just removing this uh, locking clip so I can unplug it. Okay, I've been struggling for a hot minute here trying to uh, remove just this wiring harness from whatever it's clipped in. It has two little prongs that stick out uh, behind it and I don't want to break it uh, for fear that I won't be able to get something that replaces that very easily or anytime soon. So I'm just going to leave. I may have said these were 10. These are definitely... <coughs> 
Still not able to get that green harness half off of its clips. So I am just going to go ahead and try to uh, put this in here and see if I can't get it out though. Just got to get everything like finger loose and then I can get back in there. And there it goes. Alright, well, there's one. Okay, to show you what I'm working on here though, what's been so difficult is these little tabs do not want to come out. So I'm having to like rip them out. We'll see if they go back in. I don't know if this is, okay, I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad, but this finally just popped off of those uh, clips. It's like a double clip system that it just slides onto. Now it wasn't sliding off at all, which was why I was having issues, probably just bending because it's just, a thin plastic. Now I have this off, so now we are back in business and we can get to that um, top screw right there. Right there. All right, moving forward. There we go. You just so this little tab, this uh, red tab, was a little tricky to get off, and so I just gave it a little help by pushing it in, and so that should allow me to then press right here and pull this guy apart. Let's see. It's moving, but it's just moving so little. Okay, I mean, it's dusty. Oh, you know what, though? I wonder if that is a sign that something blew. This corrosion here. Something went wrong. So, like I mentioned earlier, there's obviously grooves on it to help guide you of which way goes which. That means even going back in. Okay, just managed to finally get that green clip back in. It took me a, a minute, and I now it just chose to be nice out. I wore a long sleeve because it was all overcast out here. So that was very sweaty. Anyways, let's show you what I did. 
So I was able to slip that green uh, wire harness right back on that black clip and then pushed on what I broke off or I pulled out at least back in. And so that was good. Tightened the screws that are down there. So now what's left is to test to see if I replaced the right one or if this was even the issue in the first place. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, and also, something I mentioned before, make sure to disconnect your battery before you work on your car. Obviously, you can see that I think I need a new battery on mine, so that will be coming shortly. I think I should probably just go run out and get one. All right, final test to see if this works. Oh man. Oh man. Yes. Fantastic, so that was it.